p.m. of the year, I got to make a speech to the entire conference. And our conference theme was, it's not just business, it's personal. And they asked me to share why winning that war award was so personal to me. I shared that story speech over 10 years ago. And I still have people that I have never met come up to me and say, they'll never forget that story. They tell me that when they're thinking they can't do something, they remember the steak walk story. They remember the kitchen so vividly. And it's such an honor. I literally even have goosebumps right now thinking about how just that simple story of mine has helped other people and how they've remembered it for so long and the feelings that they had when I told it and how that it related to them. How, how amazing is that? It's stories that stick. And that is the main topic of today. We're exploring the incredible power of storytelling in building your high-performing teams, whether during huddle or a training session or coaching. Stories can transform the way we learn, the way we collaborate, and the way we grow. As I spoke to the audience, I shared that when I was 16 years old, I got my first real job as a bus girl at Ponderosa Steakhouse. Remember her? I was a great bus girl, always smiling and tidying up all those all-you-can-eat buffet plates. <laughs> then one day, my boss, Mr. K, wanted to promote me to steak walker. Oh my God. I went home and I sat across the kitchen table from the greatest man I ever knew, my dad. And I told him all the reasons why I cannot possibly be a steak walker. What if I drop a tray or what if I forget an order or, 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 and my dad said all the encouraging things that a great dad would say to help his baby girl grow and become the person she's meant to be. But guess what? I became an awesome steak walker and I only dropped a tray once all because of a dropped butter pad. <laughs> Over the decades, every single time the universe was calling me to do something bigger, I found myself back in that kitchen chair across from that amazing same dad. The next time was when I was offered the job at my very first hotel, the Hampton Inn, and they wanted me to be the van driver of an 18 passenger vehicle. I'd even have to get a special B license. Now, I had only just gotten my A license and I had never even driven on an expressway yet. And I'm like, dad, I can't do this. And then he looked at me and he said, baby, you thought you couldn't steak walk. Ooh, ah, uh, fabulous. That's when a lifelong tradition began. Every single time I thought I couldn't do something, I was back in that kitchen chair telling my dad how I couldn't do it. Not this time. And he would again say those words to me. Baby, you thought you couldn't steak walk. The last time he said that to me was just a little over a year ago when I was offered the general manager position. I remember when I was offered that position, I went and I talked to my dad and I said, no, 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 dad, dad, you don't understand. I'm going to have to do budgets. <laughs> and he gave me his typical line, baby, you thought you couldn't stay walk. He said, you've got this. And again, he was right. It looks like I've done okay because I'm standing on this stage. Sadly, I lost my dad only a few months ago and he didn't get to know about this incredible honor. But I know he's here with us right now looking down saying, baby, you thought you couldn't stay walk. <laughs>